Okay, so let's look at vertebral joints. So this is a sagittal view of two vertebrae, vertebral bodies, intervertebral disc, inferior vertebral body, intervertebral foramen here, and your spinous processes. So these are the ligaments associated with these joints. You have the anterior longitudinal ligament, which are anterior to the vertebral body. You have your posterior longitudinal ligament, which is posterior to the vertebral body. The most posterior ligament is this, the supraspinous ligament, which is posterior to the spinous processes. All right, and in the middle, you have the interspinous li ligament, which goes between spinous processes and goes from superior to inferior, from posterior to anterior. And then you have the ligamentum flavum, which connects the lamina of adjacent vertebra, which is very hard to see um, in this image. The other thing to keep in mind are the three features of the intervertebral disc. The annulus fibrosus, which is the outer layer, it connects the two vertebral bodies, and it is a web of collagen fibers. The nucleus pulposus is a gelatinous core, and then the cartilaginous end plates, which line the vertebral bodies. So let's take a look at this. Here you can see the intervertebral um, disc. This is the nucleus pulposus. The green are indicating the cartilaginous end plates. Here is the annulus fibrosus. You can see it's a lot of collagen fibers that go in, in very different orientations, and that basically holds in the gelatinous jelly center, if you will, and doesn't let it come out, even if one of these layers um, is injured. And here's another view of it. So here's the annulus, here's the nucleus pulposus. As you compress the vertebral, intervertebral disc, it expands outward, and there's a tensile load on the annulus fibrosus. Thank mm -hmm. you.